Good evening, and welcome to Saturday Live. Tonight, we're going to begin with some music. My first guest was the singer with the Virgin Prunes, a sensational rock band, and now he's a solo singer. He's an original, and the song he's going to sing for us tonight is original as well. It's an Oscar Wilde poem adapted uh, with music. Would you please welcome Mr. Gavin Friday. Each man kills the thing he loves Each man kills the thing he loves Da 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 Each man kills the thing he loves Each man kills the thing he loves Da 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 with a bitter look Some with a flattering word The coward does it with a kiss The brave man with a sword With a sword With a sword Each man kills the thing he loves each man kills the thing he loves. Da 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 da. Each man kills the thing he loves. Each man kills the thing he loves. Da 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 da. Tonight, because the dead so soon grow cold. Each man kills the thing he loves. Each man kills the thing he loves. Da 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 da. -da. Each man kills the thing he loves. Each man kills the thing he loves. Some love too little, some too long Some buy while others sell Some do the deed with many tears And some without a sigh Yet each man kills the thing he loves But each man does not die the thing he loves. Gavin, that was a fairly conventional song by the standards of the Virgin Prunes, uh, your band. Mm -hmm. What were they about, the Prunes? Well, Eamon, that's like me asking you what football's about, you know. I'd be happy to tell you. Know you. <laughs> yeah, but you'd, you'd take an hour and a half or more, mm -hmm. right? So I couldn't... But you weren't a conventional rock and roll band, which is a way you could have gone. Uh, I don't think so. No. I'm not a rocker. Why weren't you a rocker? 
were all about? I don't know. Like, I mean, the main, ins- the main sort of uh, inspiration for the Virgin Prunes happening, although it sounds a cliche for many people, it was uh, 1977 and punk. Because that was like, you know, you don't have to uh, play guitar, you don't have to have the qualifications. If you have something to say, mm. do it. And I was a music fan, so... I mean, that for those medium. of us who are a bit older and don't know what punk... It, well, punk wasn't just let it all hang out. It was basically saying what? It's basically saying... I don't, it's basically saying, uh, hey, listen, I have my point of view. You know, it's... It was, it was, it was given the two fingers as well. Like it wasn't, to the pretensions of rock and roll music, to the posing. Not the posing, it's like this, like the whole rock and roll thing was built up with say like the Beatles for instance mm. and you have these, oh there's these four working class lads mm. and then like the working class lads, are, they weren't just four working class lads but like the average Joe Soap was going, oh, well, I'm a working class lad, you know what? Uh, why can't I do it? Why can't I do it? And punk rock was saying that uh, you don't have to do it the way, because the Beatles are a very together sort of a yeah, thing. Stylised. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't, I don't mean stylised, I mean management. It was a, an image, it was a whole thing, and Punk was saying, uh, you don't have to play, you don't have to sing. If you, if you feel something, do it. So, you didn't go the Punk route. I mean, you, you shocked people in your act with the prunes. I, for example, you went on stage with a pig's head on a staff, a real pig's head. <laughs> Why? Oh, well, I, don't, I don't think we shocked people, because uh, we might shock you, or we might shock your granny. But, like, the type of people that went to the concerts, uh, punk concerts, like, you know, they were more heavy than the, the bands were. Mm. Uh, it, was, it was like the, the, sh- the, the shockers are, the, like, the, the, the usual trash, like the Sunday World and all that. They're the shockers, you know. They're the ones that take the scum and put it up in the paper. Uh, punk was an honest expression for a lot of kids. Like, you know, I grew up in the 70s, and the 70s was like, you know, we realised that all this 60s crap was over. And then we ran away to the eighties and nineties, you know, and uh, it was far more realistic. So I'm getting yeah. all over the place, but I, 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 I don't like the way people say punk was to shock. There was a lot of assholes in the punk scene, but the intent was I have something to say. I'm seventeen. I don't like the way they they tell me what to do. So if I have to go, uh, I have to go. Uh.